Hi Booktube, Lynette here and today's video is going to be about what I plan to do about my reading for the month of May. Um, long story short, I have no TBR for May. I'm feeling a little bit slumpish at the moment. Um, there is a lot going on in my personal and my work life and I just can't seem to settle to books it's taking me a little while to settle to books um and the thought of setting a tbr it just isn't happening so there is no official tbr for may the only thing that is calling to me at the moment is maybe trying to do a video where i do a read it like another booktuber um type video whether that will be a vlog or whether that will just be part of my normal wrap up I don't know um I have already been browsing through because I've got a playlist um on YouTube which is my um booktubers I watch it's their favorite books of the year or personal favorites um and when I was scrolling through I've been binge watching uh, JD Ray Reads I'll leave her channel link down below um, quite a lot over the last few weeks I've been trying to catch up with all the outstanding videos that I haven't watched um, and Jade is one of those I've been binge watching she reads a lot of fantasy and I love fantasy so yeah her video uh, her favorites of 2021 video called out to me um, and I watched it and there are a few books on there that I'm feeling like I might be able to read so I'm thinking I might do a read it like Jade from JD Ray Reads um, the first one that spoke to me, so she had 10 books on there, um, only one of them I own, one of them I've already read, um, and the others I'm maybe intrigued by, or maybe she's read a sequel and I am not as far into the series as she is, but I do own a sequel in the series that I need to get to, so yeah and and i was kind of intrigued by it um so i've got three books that i think i might try for this um there are a couple of others that are on the list that i might try i will also uh link her favorites video down below as well um so you can go and watch that and see what all the books were but the first one i thought i'd try is one that i've had long standing on my shelves for quite some time and that is malice by john Gwynne. I've actually had this in audio for quite a few years um, and uh, what I wanted to do was listen to it. I've tried a couple of times to start it but it's fantasy and you get thrown straight into the world with not a lot of build up or, or backstory. So what I've decided and I've actually only been and bought this today um, at the point that I'm filming this, I thought that I would have a go at reading and listening at the same time and then maybe once I'm into the book maybe then I can listen to the audiobook and then go back and find my place in the book to pick up when I need to um, but this is um, a fantasy novel I, I think it's got the chosen one trope in it um, but also there is potentially um, a baddie in there as well and from the way uh, Jade explained it when I was watching it was that you don't know which is which um yeah so I'm looking forward to trying it and like I say I have all four of the audiobooks in the series um I, the series is called The Faithful and the Fallen I've got all four books on audio so I'm hoping that if I can get into this one I will then probably invest in the rest of the series in paperback as well um but yeah they could be good ones for audio the next one that I thought I would try is another long-standing fantasy that I've had on my Kindle um, and it's an author that I want to try more of because so far I what I've read I've enjoyed but it hasn't wowed me and if you've seen the no disclaimers tag that I put up recently you might be able to guess um, but I am going to try and maybe read the first Mistborn book which I can't remember what it's got. It, it was I had it in my head just a moment ago and I didn't write it down and I should have done. But yes, I will put a picture up here as I normally do. Uh, but yes, I have tried a couple of times to start this series. Um, I'm not quite sure whether I like Brandon Sanderson's writing or not, uh, which 
might be a good thing it might be a bad thing i don't really know um so i definitely want to try this uh this is about a world where actually their big battle has happened the the fight for good or evil to uh, win the day has happened and evil won However, there are still uh, magic users in the world. I think the magic is called allomancy, where you can ingest certain metals and um, you can then do different things with that. And there are a chosen few who can ingest any metal and they um, can do a lot more magic. And I think there's going to be another battle for good and evil in there. Um, so, yeah, so it's got all the makings of a good fantasy novel for me. Like I say, I just when I when I get into Brandon Sanderson's books, I've only read two. I've only read Elantris and Warbreaker. I found them difficult to start, but once I got into them and the story was flowing, um, I did find that I was then more likely to pick them up and keep going with it. So, yes, definitely one that I'm going to try. And like I say, it was on Jade's. Uh, Jade actually had Hero of Ages, which is book three in the first Mistborn era on her favourites list um, and obviously I haven't read book one so I would be reading book one instead of book three. The third book that caught my eye because I already have some investment in it is the Spell Slinger series by Sebastian de Castel. Now I can't say Spell Slinger very well um, but yes. Um, so Jade was talking about The Way of the Argosi, which is a spin-off series from the original series because she's read the first series. Um, and I've only read the first book, Spell Slinger. After I read it, I did invest in the second book, which is called Shadow Black, but I've never gotten around to reading it. And it is one of those books that I think about from time to time. It's a young adult fantasy about a boy who, when we meet him in the first book, is losing his ability to perform magic and if he does this he won't pass his trials and he won't be able to be a member of the community anymore and he will be cast out or he will be um, demoted to a role of servant and that will be it he won't even be he will be disowned by his entire family uh, as well as the community that he lives within um, and then he meets a woman who, uh, who shows him there may be a way to use trickery uh, to pass the tests that he needs to pass um, and it goes on from there. I don't really know what Shadow Black is about, all I know is it follows on from that story in the first book. Um, so yes, uh, definitely do need to pick it up. So if I did this, um, I would then be knocking three books off of my previous tbr which is my goal for this year is to reduce my tbr not increase it um so i'm not counting malice as increasing my tbr because i'm just buying an additional copy i already had it on my tbr but there were other books that uh, caught my eye specifically um i can't remember the series name but the first book is the ruin of kings by jen lyons that is a fantasy book that jade has been loving throughout 2021 um, and again, I've heard it talked about a few times. Um, and then there is another young adult fantasy called Echo North by uh, Joanna Ruth Meyer, which I've had a look for in my local Waterstones. They don't have a copy. I need to order it in if I want it. But again, those would be adding to my TBR rather than taking away from it. So I'm not too sure if I'm going to go down that road. I would just see how it goes. I haven't decided if I'm going to vlog um this or not i'm certainly going to start trying to vlog this but i will just see how my reading goes um i know there are a couple of um books that i'm anticipating um certainly the next book in the series right here um it's a romance series by scarlet cole uh the next book in that series is due out middle of the month um so i will definitely be picking that one up and I've recently joined a new book club, so I'm now a member of two book clubs. Uh, so that's going to increase my reading every month. <laughs> I'm not very good with set reading, so this, this could be fun. However, this is a romance book club and it's called The Cliptrature Club. And it's run by Steph over at Steph Loves. Uh, it was created as a result of um, some 
gutter talk on one of Jade's live videos that she did, um, live streams that she did in the month of April, where uh, something was said and um, yeah, I took it down to gutter level. I am not sorry for this. Uh, I'm sorry if Jade and Steph get their channels demonetized because of the chat um, or that video gets demonetized because of the chat, obviously. Uh, but yes, I'm not sorry for where it then took us because all that talk then led to talk of a romance book club. Um, Adrian, another uh, viewer who was on there, came up with the name Cliterature Club um, and we just had to do it. Uh, so yeah it's it's sounding like great fun it's all going to be romance um it's all going to be romance with a certain amount of steam in it um we don't want clean romances uh we want romances with a good amount of action in because who doesn't and i'm looking forward to taking part in it the first book for may is the kiss quotient by helen huang this was a book that was massive on booktube i think in 2020 um, early 2021 uh, and I'm not really sure what it's about um, all I know is that it's about a couple who meet fall in love and end up together and have a happy ever after I don't need to know any more than that about romance I love romance if you've seen my past videos I talk about it a fair amount so yes um, this would be a good first pick for that the other book club I belong to is the Just One More Page book club that's run by Jess over at Jess McGlynn. I've talked about this quite a few times before, but again, I'll leave the links down below uh, so you can come and check us out. At the point that I'm filming this, we haven't even got a theme for this month unless I've missed a posting on Facebook. Um, but yes, uh, always look forward to that. I didn't take part in April's book, um, unfortunately. The subject matter, um, it was a uh, World War Two, um, I think World War Two, World War One um, fiction, and with the things that were going on, um, it was just too heavy a subject matter for me to be able to settle to, and sadly I couldn't take part. But I'm looking forward to find out what we're doing in May and see whether um, I can get through that one or not. So that's it. That is my plans for May. Um, I don't, other than that, I have no idea what I want to read. Like I say, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get through the books that I've seen that Jade enjoyed last year. So I will check in with you all at the end of the month, as I always do. There'll be a monthly wrap up um, to let you know how I got on and we'll find out whether I did a read it like or whether I uh, didn't read anything at all. Are you planning your May reading? If you are, please let me know what you're going to read down in the um, comments box below. You never know, it might inspire me to read. It might be something that um, I'll enjoy and will pick up. So please, all suggestions are gratefully received. Uh, if you have enjoyed this video, then please don't forget to like, and if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Again, I've had another little flurry of subscribers recently. And I love seeing those numbers grow um, and I love the community that I'm building. So I look forward to hearing from you all. If you don't already know, then I make videos every week and they go up at Mondays at 6.30 p.m. UK time. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Bye. Bye.